times uh, for our ANC 355, we made an electromechanical chest board. I'll let it be blocked. So uh, I think we'll just start by making a move and see what happens. So I'm going to lift up a piece, and that's being detected by the microcontroller we have here. There's magnets underneath all the players' pieces, and there's read switches along the whole board. So when we lift up a piece, that change can be detected. And when we place it, it's also detected. And after that, the computer sends its coordinates, and it makes moves the magnet, and makes a move. Somewhere the coordinates get sent to a computer. The computer runs a chess algorithm. Basically, you send it coordinates and it will reply with the uh, computer's coordinates uh, for the next best move. Um, it outputs coordinates, um, letter number, letter number, like C6, C7. And then we convert those coordinates to our numerical coordinates. Um, basically, down here is 0, 0, in the middle is 8, 8, where it recalibrates after every move, and up here is 16, 16. So when we get the coordinates, if you look down here, um, first we step the X stepper motor to its, lo its location, and then we step the Y stepper motor to its location. And when we get there, we just flip this magnet up with the servo motor. Um, then we, if we look at, for example, if it got to this piece, it would offset so that it can move in between the pieces, and then it goes to its location and then re-offsets into the destination square. If you look over here, our whole system is basically comprised of the HC12. Our inputs from the RTI keyboard are port A and port B entirely. Um, our server mode is controlled by pulse width modulation and our two drivers, one for each stepper motor, are here. Um, you basically send a rising edge to the step input to move one tick, one, like 1.8 degrees and you can control the direction and sleep modes. We'll do some more movements to show you. So this grid here basically adds, acts as a huge keypad. It's 8 by 8 so it's 64 squares. Each read switch has a diode, so we can detect multiple inputs at once, unlike a traditional keypad. And that long set has 16 data lines.